My name is Jerome Bryce and I'm a body man at Delan Auto Body Repair. That was 12 years ago. I was a part of the possibility program. And how did you become a part of the program? Well, a friend of mine introduced me to the program. At that point in time, I wasn't going to any school or anything like that because I was in, in the country and I came to town to live with my dad and I um, was there with him for two years, wasn't going to any school or anything like that. Don't know the reason why I wasn't going to any school. I keep on asking my father and keep on telling me that he soon sought it out, he soon sought it out and that day never come. How long were you out of school? Two years. So you said a friend introduced you to the program, tell me about that. Yeah, because him, him um, went to school as well and him see that I was sitting at home, wasn't doing anything and him said to me, he um, you know somewhere here we can come and learn basic like maths, English and so forth because I didn't even know how to read. I know it's, uh, one and two were but couldn't read that much. So. I go and I said to him, I'm going to make a way for me to come to come to. Because, honestly, I tell you, people used to look down upon me and say, I'm not rich now in my life because you don't really have nobody who will show it the right way or for go or anything like that. That's how I um, started the Pacific program, met Mr. Cambra, and he was like a father to me, trust me. And from there, this is who I'm today. I came here to learn, just learn a trade, any trade. As they never give me specific which trade I'm going to learn when I come here. They just come here and learn a trade. So it was your choice? Yeah, that was my choice. That's mm -hmm. where I met Mr. Spence, my boss. And he was like, he was an ex father, so he took up where Mr. Cameron leave off. How long did you spend in the program? From 16 to 18, that's two years. And that program now, it teaches us a lot, you know, because as I said before, it teaches me the, the, um, the basic maths and English and so forth. But um, it also teaches us about um, obedience, how to control anger, anger problem. Because most of the youth who was there, most of the street youth are inner city youth where they have no other else option. Are, are people not give them a chance or anything like that? So people always look down upon them and I say, they're not going to reach nowhere. So they're aggressive, bad. And, and that school helped them a lot, in, in, including me. It helped me a lot because at one time I was very, very dark. Nobody couldn't look on me and say certain things to me. I'm ready for start war. Normally, when you reach into summer, they would normally make go to the soldier camp. Newcastle, Newcastle soldier camp, and you know, all soldier thing teach about discipline and all of that. So that that helps shape if we get rid of that anger problem and so forth. Mm. Yeah, so the passenger program has done a lot for us, man. I don't know about everybody, but me know personally me and a few more of my friends them see me because trust me, if we did see on that part or did what what we was on before. God knows where we would end up. Because I have a lot of friends who die. Some of them go to the passenger program and they never finish it out. And them just end up dead. What has the journey been like since you have arrived here and working with Mr. Spence? And how long have you been working here? I've been working here for eight years now. And the journey has been great. Because I've learned a wide variety of things. I've learned in terms of dealing with cars and stuff like that. Even help me to be a man, personal issues and stuff like that, cause these people who wear is like a family to see me. I can go to them with any problem at all and they always have the right answer to give me. Mm -hmm. So journey here has been tremendous so far. And did you imagine that you would have been here? Honestly, at first, no, I didn't imagine that because, as I said before, people used to look down upon you and point finger at you and say, you're not going to come out to this or you're not going to come out to nothing good and so forth. And 
I can walk through my community and hold my head high. And people looking at me and, and said, saying to me that, proud of you and things like that. Because some of them know the struggles that I was going through before. And to see me turn out like this now, yeah, people, people, people look at me and say, yeah, I like how I turn out. Uh, some youth who, who have more chance than me end up uh, turn out to nothing and me build up, build up a little house for myself and start a family and art and stuff like that. Could be more but still give thanks for where I'm at now.